Hello again, everyone. Edwin Lerner back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be talking about uh, doing uh, astrology videos and giving uh, advice on that for anybody that wants to start doing them. Uh, so let me get started. First thing off is, well, don't do, uh, I mean, the one fundamental rule to remember is don't do astrology videos just for the sake of getting viewership and popularity, notoriety, and subscribers or what have you, because people can become aware and cognizant of this and they could become uh, disenchanted uh, at this when they become aware of this and you may actually lose potential viewership uh, because of this. it could actually be a detractor as opposed to an attractor as far as viewership goes. If you're proficient and you're good at what you do, if you're adept at it, you know, as far as astrology goes and have very good astrological knowledge and you're able to incorporate that knowledge in your videos, well, the viewership then should come naturally. So, I mean, that is one fundamental thing uh, to look at. Now, another thing true I think is really important is be true to your identity and your style. If, say, if you try to copy or replicate uh, another person's style or personality, we're going to the cognizant thing again. People will become aware of this at some point. You want to be yourself, uh, not a facsimile. I mean, it's okay to be inspired by somebody. When I first started doing my videos, I became, uh, I was starting to become aware of astrological videos because I saw Alyssa Sharp, or of course, a renowned YouTube astrologer. I saw her doing it, and I said, well, at some point I decided to do it, but that was as a result of seeing uh, her doing astrology videos, but I'm still going to do it uh, in my own way. Alyssa Sharp, of course, is somebody that's a lot more animated, more whimsical than I am. You know, her personality is such where she attracts a lot of viewership, but the thing about it is we still have to be true uh, to ourselves and I mean, I got one uh, comment one time back, what I say, uh, f being flippant about this, of course, uh, back in the prehensile days when I actually had comments enabled on my uh, YouTube channel, somebody called me uh, you know, something about boring something, that I was boring. And, you know, the thing about it is everything's about perception. You can't let that kind of stuff detract you. I mean, some people will uh, respect and admire the way I do the videos. They might they might see that as actually being very consistent, structured, and dependable and reliable. But others may say it the negative people that are out there might perceive it in a negative manner. Would might say, well, yeah, he's overly boring and monotonous and predictable. So it all depends on perception. It's all about what the person wants. There's somebody that's going to like your. There, you're going to have some people that are going to like your style. Others may not. But that's just the way it's going to be, and you have to accept and understand that. Now, another thing as far as doing astrology videos go, may I would suggest as far as the quantity, uh, I would recommend make at least two videos per week uh, as long as you're somewhat consistent uh, uh, with them. I mean, try to make them uh, on the same days of the week. If you're, say, if you're making two videos, like, you know, like for example, if you did it like Monday and Wednesday one week, try to keep doing it on those same days because you're going to get very, there's some people that are wind up going to be anticipating your videos that are going to be looking for people that will wind up turning out to be very loyal, steadfast, and persistent subscribers and viewers. And they're going to actually, you get it, you get it to a point where you're having it the same days, then people are going to become aware of that and they're going to be looking for it on those uh, particular days. They know uh, what to look for as opposed to it being more unpredictable and people trying to guess at, at and when they're going to be. And that in some cases may detract potential viewership. So anyway, well, another thing, too, I want to uh, say is that as far as doing astrology videos, I recommend, of course, obviously, have a very strong passion, exuberance, and enthusiasm for what you're doing. Don't, uh, don't do it in a way where it's like compulsory or obligatory, like you feel, you know, you just have to do it just for the sake of doing it, like you have some kind of obligation. I want to say karmic uh, debt, and it might be a little extreme, but you understand what I'm saying. It just you want to do it because you have the enjoyment of doing it. And if you're not, if you're doing it for, you know, and you're trying to do something that you don't enjoy, then obviously you might want to look into doing something different. And doing astrology videos may not be for you. If it becomes, gets to a point where you feel it's this laborious and arduous task to, to, to keep doing your videos, 
then it might be time to find to do something different so anyway well another thing i would advise people as far as doing uh, astrology videos is uh, choose a branch of the astrology that you feel comfortable and compatible with that you find it the most enjoyable i mean there's many different branches you might you know you have mundane uh, astrology you have sinistry astrology relation sinister sinistry slash relationship astrology predictive astrology electional and even a uh, meteorological which of course pertains to the weather and medical astrology and i'm sure there's a number of others that i have not stated but there is a wide divergence of them and do what you feel most comfortable with and in some cases you might want to just diversify and be uh, like mr or mrs uh, diversification and do many videos on various branches of astrology which is okay it's your prerogative and if that is something that you feel comfortable with i mean i think that's kind of it would be like a gemini type astrologer that would do the, the a variety of videos someone with the you know dominant gemini chart gemini sun moon or ascendant would feel happy more happy doing uh more of a variety because of course gemini is a sign that could disdain any kind of monotony so i i respect and understand uh you know some people may be wanting to do it that way but however you know whatever combination or whatever astrology videos you want to do whatever branch it might be or combination of branches obviously do what you feel that you're obviously you know your knowledge is most profuse and and what the ones that you are happiest in doing anyway well another thing too is um i mean when you do these uh videos i mean i have my comments um disabled of course but i mean for those of you you know that, that decide to do astrology videos and that you have your comments enabled i mean you're going to have to anticipate and expect a derogatory negative remarks from time to time uh the thing about it is as if your your popularity increases the more videos you do or what have you I mean proportionately it's safe to say that your jealous haters are going to increase as well and negative inflammatory remarks will increase at the same time you're going to get people of course that might simply be jealous haters of you and that have animosity toward you because you know maybe they don't have the exposure you have the notoriety the popularity or what have you or in or, or the knowledge even or you might simply get some people that just don't like what you're doing that rebuke uh what you're doing I mean, if you get people that are like you know what they people that claim to be you know super spiritual people um they may uh disdain what you're doing and they, and they um and they might you know decide to hate on you because of that as many of you may know or some of you may know that follow my videos consistently because i've said in at least maybe maybe a couple videos at least maybe two or three videos that i you know my philosophy actually incorporates a uh, spirituality and astrology i do believe i do believe in a supreme being i believe in god that he put those stars in in the constellations in place for a reason i think i do believe strongly that very at least very likely that the three wise men may actually have been astrologers so i do believe that but you are going to have people that will rebuke uh, astrology of course and uh, you might get some comments on on your um on your videos because of this uh are connected with that people that are you know these super spiritual people that uh that are going to rebuke astrology and what you're doing is demonic or there's something uh, nefarious with what you're doing or whatever but you can't allow that i mean you you have to just still move forward and, and keep doing what you're doing what you're as far as what's making you happy in doing the videos now another thing is um don't allow uh extraneous things outside factors even even if they're good if they're whether they're good or negative to interfere with what you're doing now the negative obviously of course you know derogatory inflammatory remarks as i've talked about before don't let people if they're going to undermine what you're doing and saying you know you're no good and this and that you're not adept at what you're doing what you're saying is preposterous uh, as long as you know you know you're that you're knowledgeable and you're doing due diligence in, in your videos and you're 
and you're you're doing quality work you can't let the, the negative people interfere with what you're doing and get inside your head um and don't let it stop you from what you're doing don't let it detract you and deter you from your task at hand and also well you probably wonder well how could the how could positive things actually affect me in an adverse way well the problem the thing about it is i mean it's always good to get compliments and get positive remarks from others don't get me wrong it's always good to get encouraging uh, remarks positive feedback from your loyal and steadfast followers and subscribers or whatever but the thing about it is when you get bombarded with a lot of good commentary the one the only the one negative that actually could come about that is if you let it be you let it get to a point where you maybe you become arrogant or you delude yourself because of this and what ha what could happen is um you know you may not realize it consciously but you know you could succumb to some kind of complacency and you may may somehow maybe not your your quality of your work may actually diminish because you might be thinking in the back of your mind or whatever well i'm so good i'm great in this and that i don't even have to put much effort into this anymore in order to get my viewership in order in order to be in order to appease people and make the viewers happy uh, with my videos they're going to love what i do anyway so that i guess you I, I figure you can understand where i'm going at with this the thing about it is in summation you have to still what you do is you just stay focused you keep you mean you you know you take the compliments as they come the positive feedback uh as it comes but don't let it get to your head don't let it be become a victim of being again deluding yourself becoming arrogant cocky or complacent or what have you just stay focused at your task at hand and keep producing consistent quality videos that is i mean that is the key and don't let like i said don't let the negative or the positive impact what you're doing basically so that's pretty much what i want to get at as far as my advice on doing astrology videos hold on a second people sorry about that anyway well, anyway that'll conclude this youtube astrological segment uh, as far as uh, doing astrology videos go and stay tuned next time where i'm going to be giving you my leo october 2018 horoscope forecast two things i want to get with you on before i head out firstly the stars may impel but do not compel and secondly never isolate any single astrological element aspect planetary placement position configuration influence or what have you and make an analysis of a person astrologically speaking based on this alone because astrologically speaking the person is the sum of all their components in their natal chart and not just one until next time people stay well